welcome to my channel. I'm Nia G and today I'm going to be doing a talk through of my go-to basic, very, very basic makeup look. Um, I'm going to be using the July subscription box of BoxyCharm. From Luxie, there was a Gia three-piece brush set made of eco-friendly products. So I'm using the found flat foundation brush to blend out my foundation, as you can see here. Just spreading it out all over my face. And I just sped through this because watching someone blend out foundation is boring as heck. So now I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Liquid Concealer in the color Deep Tan to conceal my brows. So I line underneath my brow and then halfway over my brow just to give it more of a natural look. And then I'm blending it out with a flat concealer brush just to um, make it blend in with my foundation. I go over it with a flat foundation brush just so it looks way more natural and I get it all blended in. So now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick for my highlight in the color Caramel. And I put that in my all over my face in triangles type thing. And I get it all on my forehead, you know, looking like a tree in the middle, down the center of my face. And then I am all ready to put on my contour. For my forehead contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Espresso. And I do it like this because I have kind of like a weird hairline because of my baby hairs. And I just want it to all look kind of natural and blended together. Now to blend in my highlight in my forehead contour i sprayed some fix plus by mac into my beauty blender which is already wet and clean and everything and i just beat 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 it into my face now i'm adding highlight to my smile lines because i crease a lot and then i blend that in again Now I'm taking a contour brush and I'm blending that forehead contour in all the way. I'm like holding back my edges because that brush like really does a number on my edges and as you can see they're done for at that point. So now I go back in that espresso color. I do a kissy face to line out my contour. Give me a cute little jawline looking real Tin Man-ish. Then I blend that out with that same contour brush. Nose contour, I'm using this ColourPop contour stick and the color faded off so I don't know, but I'm giving myself a really cute little nose look just outlining the shape I already have, and then blending that in with a small brush. It's For my inner eye corner, I'm using the Butter London palette that came in the Boxy Charm subscription box for this month. And I'm using the color Diva to give the inner corner of my eye a little bit of pop. I'm like allergic to doing my makeup without a cat eye, so I use the Sephora eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, for my wing. And I just like fill in any patches after I already have lined it until it's perfect. And I do that on both eyes. Now 
for blush, I'm using the Alomar Cosmetic Colorette Blush Trio, and I'm using the color Toasted, which I actually got in, I believe, the May BoxyCharm subscription box. So I make that cute little face to make sure my blush looks good and then I go on top of that and I add the color rum from Fenty Beauty Matchstick to give me some light on my face. So I use that same contour brush to blend in my um, blush and my highlight together because it makes it look more naturally flowy and cute and then i use my beauty blender to go over it and get that highlight into my face a little bit deeper this appeal gel liner in the color deep top was also in the july boxycharm subscription box and i'm using it as lip liner i wasn't really sure if it was for my eye but i've i don't use brown for my eye so i just use it as lip liner and i also would use like the color cork from mac as a lip liner as well so every day the hardest decision of my life is choosing between pink or brown lip gloss um and today i chose pink and this color is from Dominique Cosmetics in the color Lemonade, which I actually got in the May BoxyCharm subscription box. AK, it was actually the June box. <laughs> now to complete the look, I'm adding the Ardell Wispies Lashes using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the Dark Tone to glue them on. Um, I always have to drop my lashes first in order for them to stick to my face properly or it just doesn't work like that's just literally what I have to do like I'm not even playing they only stick if I drop them on my lap first before putting them on so this is it for my final makeup look I hope you guys like it um I would do this look for anything if I was going out like maybe to a party if I just felt like getting cute if I was going somewhere for maybe an event some type of thing like that like I would always do this um I love my glosses to be pinkish or brownish in that family and for my highlighter I like pink and brown as well because I feel like that's what looks best with my skin tone um these lashes are very natural in my opinion and yes this is what i would normally do my go-to look for any occasion so that's it thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already um i'll see you guys in the next video